Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look. So this one is like purplish eye makeup and a very nude glossy lip makeup look. So if you guys want to know what are all the products that I use to create this makeup look, then do continue watching this video. And before getting into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and also don't forget to hit the bell icon. And if you're not following me in my Instagram page, then this is my Instagram the handle do check out my instagram page and follow me there as well for all the quick updates so yes without further ranting let's quickly jump into the video first i'm going to cleanse my face using this by Rama cbm h2o purifying cleansing micellar water I have cared a lot about Bioderma products. They are really, really good. So if you have problematic skin, if you have sensitive skin, you can definitely try Bioderma products. This is the first time I'm trying this product. And this one feels very gentle on skin. It cleanses really well and it's also so gentle. But right now, since I'm using it for the first time, I cannot give my review or thoughts about this product. I should give it a shot for at least two weeks span and then I can come up with my review. So you have to wait for at least two weeks from now. So yes, I'm done with cleansing my face using this micellar water next i'm going to cleanse my face using a gel cleanser for this i'm again going to use a product from bioderma this is a bioderma cbm gel mousset it's a purifying cleansing foaming gel that's how it's been mentioned here and it's also mentioned like it's for combination to oily skin so yes this is how the packaging looks like it has got this beautiful aqua blue color it looks like now i'm going to cleanse my face using this cleansing gel now I'm done with the face cleansing part I absolutely love this cleanser it's so so good going forward I think I'm going to get my hands on this product very frequently next we are going to moisturize the face for which I'll be using this Aqua Logica glow plus jello moisturizer now this one you guys i absolutely absolutely love it i have no words to explain it's something everyone should definitely try this one is my recent favorite i am in love with this product very much because the first thing that attracted me towards this product is the smell okay it smells typically like mangoes okay it smells as if like you have smashed a lot of mangoes and put it into one jar um, so it smells that way and it is in this beautiful yellow color so you can see this is how the product looks like now I'm going to apply it on my skin So once our face moisturization is done, we are quickly going to moisturize lips for which I have this new product which is really really amazing. So this one is a Blue Heaven Jelly and Butter Hydrating Lip Balm and this is enriched with jojoba oil, shea butter and vitamin E. The texture of this lip balm is something to die for. It's very very nice, very balmy and when you apply it on your lips it gives this beautiful plumped effect to your lips. I don't know how to explain but it's really amazing product you guys. You can definitely definitely give it a shot. So as of now I'm using the shade called Dusty Rose. Yes. Hope you guys can see the effect. It just quickly made my lips very supple and very plumpy. It also hydrates your lips really really well. So if you're looking for a really nice lip balm on the affordable category, you can definitely try this one. Now we have moisturized our lips and skin. Next we are going to do sunscreen. Summer season sunscreen is at most at most important. For this I am using the Aqualogica Hydrate Sunscreen. This sunscreen is totally different from all the sunscreens available in the market. It says that hydrate plus sunscreen and it's also made up of coconut water and hyaluronic acid. So it definitely helps in hydrating your skin and nourishing it and also it has SPF 50 plus and PA triple plus which means you will get more production so yes now I'm quickly going to apply this uh, sunscreen I'm going to use this two finger rule okay I have taken this much this sunscreen feels very very lightweight and it gives this mild cooling sensation Initially, you will see this white cast and within few seconds, it will fade away. So, yes, you do not worry about this white cast issue while using the sunscreen. You are definitely going to watch it, how this one is going to fade away. And it's also very, very lightweight on the skin. You are not going to feel like you have applied a sunscreen. So, next, I'm going to color correct my face for which I'll be using the Swiss Beauty color corrector, like orange color corrector. This one is a really, really good product. So, if you have 
hyperpigmentation and you're looking for a really affordable orange color corrector then this is the one you can definitely try and it's very very affordable but still there is no compromise in the quality of the product it works really really well without causing any trouble to your skin looking for some good makeup products in the affordable range then i would highly recommend you to check out swiss beauty products now i'm applying it on the on the places where they have dark spots dark circles hyperpigmentation blemishes and then i'm blending it with my fingers so when it comes to color corrector i would highly recommend you to blend it with your fingers so yes now color correction is done next we are quickly going to oh i forgot priming that's okay now color correction is done but still i'm going to do priming to get this flawless finish now for primer i'm going to use this lacme absolute blur perfect uh, makeup primer so this is a mini version uh, i'm just going to prime the areas where i used to get oily so quick to be very specific this one is going to be my t-zone area Usually you should do it before your color correction but today I am doing some weird activity but makeup is all about finish okay you can layer it anyway. If it gives this beautiful finish right then that should be fine. So yeah you can see my skin has got this beautiful nice smooth canvas. So for foundation I am going to use this one. So this is the Too Faced Bond This Way foundation in shade Maple. So this is how the shade looks like. Okay, now I'm quickly going to blend it using this beauty sponge and this one is from the brand pack. So yes, now I'm done with foundation application and this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to conceal and highlight my face using this concealer and this is again from the brand Too Faced. Now this is a Too Faced Bond This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and I have picked the shade called Butterscotch. So I'm quickly going to apply it on my skin and then I'm going to blend it with the same beauty sponge. So talking about this concealer, it's so so good. Uh, it has got a really nice big doe foot applicator and especially the consistency of this concealer is extremely extremely good. It has this nice thick creamy consistency, it blends in so well and it gives this nice natural airbrush kind of finish which I'm absolutely in love with. So yeah. So next I'm going to use a cream blush for which I'll be using this K-Beauty cream blush in shade Rustic Rush. Now this one is my ultimate favorite. Lately I'm in love with this blush. I absolutely absolutely love how this sits on top of my skin. So I'm quickly going to take a very little quantity of this blush and then I'm going to blend it using the same beauty sponge. Taking it to my eyelids as well. This gives this nice natural healthy finish. So yeah. So yes, now we are done with the blush part. Next I'm quickly going to set my face using a compact powder for which I'll be using this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder in shade Caramel. Now this one is a really really nice match for my skin tone. Next to the MAC Compact Powder, I am absolutely in love with this one. So yeah, I'm quickly just setting my face using this compact powder.
Next, I'm going to slightly bronze my face using this Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I'm taking a very little quantity of the bronzer and then I'm going to bronze my face. Now I'm done with the bronzing part. Next I'm quickly going to do my eyebrows for which I'll be using this L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert Eyebrow Pencil in shade Ebony. Now this one is a really really nice eyebrow product. I love using this one. It's very creamy, highly pigmented and gives this nice beautiful finish on my eyebrows. Next I'm going to use another eyebrow product. So this one is the e.l.f. Wow Brow eyebrow gel and this is in the shade um, deep brown now this eyebrow gel have fibers in it so if you have sparse area if you have very sparse eyebrows if you want a very natural finish you can just apply it and leave it as such so now i am going to um, top my eyebrows using this eyebrow product to give this nice bushy you know fuller thick eyebrows so when you pick an eyebrow gel make sure the one that you pick have fibers in it so that you will get this nice thicker fill eyebrows with very minimal effort so yeah now we are done with the eyebrows next i'm going to do my eye makeup so today for my eye makeup i have this product so this is the makeup revolution exclusive um eyeshadow palette and uh, i have picked the variant i'm not sure what variant this one is I'll put the variant details in the description box. You can go ahead and check it. Now this is how the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's a beautiful eyeshadow quad. And all the four colors are very pretty. Now I'm quickly going to apply this one. So first I'm going to take this shade. And then apply it on the crease area. And then I'm going to take this dark purple shade. Now I'm going to pick this shade and apply it from the inner corner till the middle of my eyelids. And then I'm taking this nice purple shade and then applying it on the inner corner just to intensify. Now from this mask eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take this shade and then blend it on my eyelids. Now to add some extra color on my cheeks, I'm going to use a different powder blush. Now this blush is from the brand Note and I'm using the shade called Soft Peach and this is how the shade looks like. So now I'm done with the blush. Next I'm quickly going to apply a highlighter and this highlighter is again from Note. Now if you guys are not aware of the brand called Note, then do check out Mintra. They have really amazing offer. Almost all product from this brand is in 50% off. This is how the highlighter looks like. Look at this guys. It's so gorgeous. It's very very soft, finely milled and it gives this natural glow kind of finish. So I'm quickly going to take a very little quantity of this highlighter and apply it on the high points. Now this highlighter reminds me of MAC Soft and Gentle because the finish, the way it looks exactly resembles the MAC highlighter. If you're planning to buy a really nice soft and you know glow from within kind of highlighter then you can definitely give this a shot and also this one is on 50% off um, the blush and the highlighter both are on 50% off so I picked both of them
I am so much in love with this highlighter. Now to give this blended effect, I'm going to dab this highlighter with my beauty sponge so it looks very natural and subtle. Next lips, for my lips I'm going to use the MAC uh, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in shade topped with brandy. I forget to apply a couple of things. One is a mascara and the other one is a eyeliner. I've been wondering like why my eyes are looking very dull and uh, finally I came to know that I forget to apply my eyeliner. So now I'm quickly going to apply my eyeliner for which I'll be using this um, wet and wild waterproof retractable eyeliner. I'm quickly going to tight line my upper and lower waterline using this eyeliner. So yes, I'm done with my eyeliner. Next, for my eyelashes, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Big Boba Mascara. So yes, that's it. We are done with this makeup look and I am in love with this look. I absolutely love violet eyes like purple eye makeup. I don't know why whenever I see any eye makeup video, I easily get gravitated towards this purplish eye makeup look. And this is how my eye makeup look turned out. And uh, talking about this lipstick, according to me, it looks really good. But still, I have dual thought. It looks nice to me, but still, I feel like it's looking very muted and neutral. So... What I'm planning to do is I'm going to top it up with a nice coralish lip gloss so that it brings back the life. So yeah, let me try. For this, I'll be using the Blue Heaven Lush and Juicy Lip Plumping Wand in shade Coral Touch. Okay, now I absolutely love this look. So this coral lip gloss add a little bit of warmth to my lips and it brought back life to my makeup look. So yeah, just let me know which lip look you liked. I don't know why I've been in love with this glossy lips a lot lately. So yes, that's it. We are done with this makeup look and this is how it finally turned out. Hope you guys really enjoyed watching this content. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. And if you're watching my channel without subscribing, do subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit on the bell icon and also don't forget to follow me in my instagram page so yes next time with another beautiful content i'll meet you guys until it's bye from priya bye bye